everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life. I did not have an intro for this haul compilation because I have had to break these up in various ways. So these are hauls, I think from April because my nails were done in Go Wild Nails and this haul was shortly after I got back from Go Wild. I checked out Keliva Plans stickers. There's so many florals, I fell in love and I joined their affiliate program. So I will have affiliate links down below. It doesn't change the way you guys purchase, it doesn't, change the prices or anything. It just gives you a trackable link so that when you do purchase, I get a small percentage of the sale, which helps me out tremendously. And I really just love their stickers. So it was one of those cases, generally speaking, it's always this way where I fall in love with the item and then I see if they have an affiliate program so that I can join that. Because if I'm gonna talk about them anyway, it really does help my channel to be able to give you guys those affiliate links. So I do appreciate if you purchase through those links. I don't typically, like post a ton of sales and things about various affiliate companies, but they do offer sales every once in a while. And I will have a sale haul coming up from a sale, like at this point, like two or three months ago, but I wanted to just hop in here, talk about it a little bit, because at the time of me making the haul, I was not an affiliate. I joined them after I keep pulling on my um, headphones. So I hope you guys aren't hearing me like, almost pulled the headphone out of my ear. But anyway, it's just been a hot mess express summer. I wanted to talk with you guys a little bit about that. If you guys have been here for any amount of time, you guys know I've got two small little girls and my time without kids is very fleeting, especially in the summertime. And you know, your girl has very lofty goals. So I went into this thinking, oh yeah, I'll have time to edit three videos and have my three videos a week. Did not do that at all with all the traveling and dance competition stuff. We still have two vacations coming up. It has just not happened. And so reality hits you hard, bro. I'm trying to get some videos up, but I am not doing my three days a week at this point. So I'm thinking I'm aiming for one video per week throughout the remainder of the summer. And then once school starts back, my tiny one is going to full time. It's just pre-K and it will be glorious to have actual kid free time rather than just a couple of mornings a week, what I've been doing lately. So I'm hoping to have lots of videos every single week doing my Monday, Wednesday, Friday video schedule, and then hoping to get some bonus videos in there and also having time to edit and have videos pre-scheduled. So that is the ideal. Like once the kids are in school, I can be way more productive, but right now, like even when she's in preschool a couple of mornings a week, she's still doing like the summer camp preschool. My big kid is home. There's a timer. Uh, my big kid is also home. So when she has like dance and stuff, they're completely opposite schedules. So not only do I have kids at home, I generally have one kid at home and that means they don't entertain themselves <laughs> because it's easy when they're both home and they can play and I can sneak away and edit but when only one is home at a time, they definitely do not entertain themselves nearly as much. So generally speaking, you know, I've been rolling with it. I've been playing Roblox with my oldest. I've been doing lots of arts and crafts with both of them, setting them up for whatever activities they wanna do and just embracing the child fun time. And that means videos just don't happen. So giant rambly intro all to say, expect possibly one video a week, but I can't even guarantee that throughout the summer because you know, childhood and I'm just rolling with it and enjoying my time. Even though I miss you guys so much, I miss making videos and I'm like itching to do it. But when the kids are home, it just does not happen. And I have to just embrace that part of it too. Like the back of my mind, I'm like very type A. I was like, oh, I really need to do X, Y, Z. But then I was like, you know, you guys understand. A lot of you guys are also parents and you guys know the videos will flow when they flow and otherwise just know I'm at home with my kids. <laughs> so that's all the rambly talk I have for you guys today. I have a lot of hauls to share. So let's go ahead and hop into this haul compilation. Okay, this is my Calibre plan order number one. I ordered and then a few days later, I had two more sets come out and then they put everything in clearance 30% off. So I did end up placing a second order. This is my first order. And I told you guys, I placed a massive order. I placed a second massive order. I just absolutely love her style and her stickers. They're gorgeous. And um, yeah, it came in this, I wanted to show you guys, it came really nicely protected in the priority mail envelope, but it was double wrapped. And it was really tricky to get into it because they had wrapped it so tightly so nothing would shift and get dinged up. So I appreciate the care that they took, but it was quite an ordeal to cut into that. So we are gonna just flip through these really quick. Nothing 
like super page by page, but I just love her stickers. And the one of the main things I wanna see is, are the boxes 1.5 inch wide stickers? Because if they are, I can use them in whatever vertical planner that I want. She does make disc bound planners. They're seven by nine pages, and I think they're really nice, but I don't know if the columns are the same size. They look to be the same, but we're going to do some measuring and make sure. But I ended up ordering a ton of different florals, so we're just gonna kind of look through these and flip through, and they're just beautiful. Just love, love, love the brightness. I love the a lot of them go off the page, so you can put this on wherever you want. There's corners, there's also like borders that go lengthwise across. They're just so pretty. So this one, there's also words in here, and there's boxes. So it's just so beautiful. So these are the boxes I'm talking about. There's tons of them. I assume that they're 1.5 inch. I could not see anywhere online where it said. Yeah, I think they're 1.5, so there are some borders around this to be like the, the bleed lines. Let's, let's take one off for science. Struggle bussing with these nails. Okay, so this one's our for science one. Let's see. And it's right on the money, 1.5, which is what I expected. I thought they would be, but I wasn't entirely sure, and I could not see anywhere when I'm like looking at the descriptions. And mind you, I did not look at every single description of the sticker books, but I looked at a few of them, and they did not say if these were designed for 1.5 inch columns and they all are which is good that's what I thought they were I ordered them anyway also some cute hexagons all the big boxes washi strips and these ones are made for monthly boxes so there's a place for the number on these also some long sidebar ones checklists all this stuff so her planner is made with three of these size boxes in a column like morning, afternoon, evening, like the three divisions. These ones fit perfectly in her designed planners. I'm sure they would fit in other planners too. If they're all 1.5 inch stickers, they fit in a lot of vertical columns. So that's really what I was hoping. Um, but I ordered them anyway, because I really was just all about those florals. I don't necessarily need all the boxes because I need lines. So the boxes don't work the greatest for me anyway, but for decorative purposes, I totally could see using the boxes. I'm in it more for the florals. So this one's colorful florals. That was bright florals. Just flip through, gorgeous. I love like the rainbow is rainbowiness of some of these. And they're just really fun color combos. And uh, the whole concept is the stickers match with the boxes. So the boxes will be various color schemes to match the stickers, which is really fun. I just love them. I love them so much. I love all the edge ones too. Beautiful, and there's some like longer borders. And this is Floral Favorites. And this one's a thicker one. Some of the books are a little bit thicker. Some of these are um, older collections that she brought back, and, like revamped a little bit here and there. So pretty. I love all of it. I'm just You guys know how much I love florals. So this is just right up my alley. And I just, I knew, I've heard of her before, for a while I had heard of her, but I never really looked into it. And now I'm super excited to get all these stickers to play around with. And I've been playing with my daily duo with some Live Love Posh stickers because I also really like their florals. Also, I got a, a few different ones. So this is Planning a Life I Love. It's got a lot of planner related stickers. And her lettering is just amazing. Super cute. Beautiful. And then this one is Reading Basics. I like anything reading related. I have kept a reading planner this year. Beautiful. Lots of different reading themes. So like all the color schemes change from set to set, which is fun. I love it so much. Her fonts and scripty letters are so pretty. I just love that. And then we've got spring florals. Mm -hmm. Weekly florals is the next one. Beautiful. There's little bunnies on some of these. I just saw a bunny. Where was that bunny? There it is. <laughs> Super cute. And a duckling. Absolutely beautiful. Oops. Flipped through those ones too fast. So pretty. And then last one, weekly florals. Got all the days of the week in there. Like 
various things you're going to want throughout the week. Different titles for things and days of the week. And washi strips. So pretty. I just, I love it. I ordered so many things and I have so many more to come. So pretty. Absolutely love all of those. And I will show you guys what I've been doing. I've been using my old Daily Duo, and these are all Live Love Posh stickers because I didn't have any Kelvo Plan stickers, but I'm gonna do the same thing with the Kelvo Plan stickers as well. I like being able to decorate these pages and make them floral and having the flowers hang off the pages. Like they have a lot of good corners and borders as well, and they just look so good. So I was working on decorating a few extras so that I can use them as well. And I was trying out something here. And it just looks really nice. I just love the way it looks and I can't wait to have the new Erin Condren Daily Duo that doesn't have the boxes here. So there's a calendar box there instead. So I cover that up and it looks kind of weird and I like the idea of the to-do list starting at the top and being able to decorate more at the bottom and I like being able to hang down some of the little edge pieces. So much fun. So I've had a lot of fun decorating this and now I can use my Live Love Posh and my Calico Plant stickers in my Daily Duo. I cannot wait for the new one to kick in. I have to wait till July 1st. <laughs> I'm still using this one. I've got two new crochet hooks. I ended up getting a really nice pack off Amazon, but it came with the same label on the five and the 5.5. And I have since, I don't know what happened, lost one of them or something. I couldn't find my five and a half hook and the one that's labeled 5.0. I wasn't sure if it was actually 5.5 millimeter or 5.0. So I just got one of each. And these ones are super cute because the metal actually is the same color as the handle, which is super cute. So it's like purple metal and purple plastic rubbery piece. And the blanket I'm working on, I'll link to it down below for you guys. I just started it and it needed a 5.5. So all I could find was the 5.0 and I wasn't sure it was the right size. So I'm gonna use this one for the rest of the blanket, which is super cute. I love the, the two-toned, this monochrome look of those. And then I was ordering some things for my table mate gifts and I got this set of very thin washies and I got one for me too. So I broke this up and gave each person a bunch of washi and then I got one set for me too, just for like underlining or highlighting, making grids, that kind of thing. So it's super cute, just a lot of little rainbow colors in that. It was super cheap too. So I'll link to that, I'll link to these down below. They had all the different regular sizes of hooks, but not all of them had the metal colorful as well. So I just got those two that I knew I was gonna need. They're common ones, and even if I find the other ones, it's nice to just have a few of each size sometimes. When you're working on a project, I tend to like put a bin together of whatever project, and it's kind of in progress. I like to leave the hook with that project, and I still just couldn't find one of my hooks. So it's nice to just have some duplicates, and now I can work on my blanket with the correct hook. I ended up waiting to order all of my May monthly kit stuff. I only had purchased the tiniest kit, which was $17. I think with my shipping, it was $20. I waited to order other additional things because I knew I wanted pretty much everything in the collection. I was waiting for a coupon code or a freebie or a big sale or a special edition. And this time I used a coupon code and got a freebie and they had a special edition release. So I've got some Toy Story goodies in here. And when I got the box, I was like, what in the world? Why is the box so big? I did not realize that the sticker binder was the big size or the medium size, I don't know. I'm used to getting the A5 one, so that's why my box was so big. I wanted to show you guys, it did come in a big box. There was packing paper in here as well, um, protecting everything, but I wanted to show you. This is the freebie set that they had. It's the Spring Deer, and I was just expecting a smaller binder. I guess I didn't read it at all. I just saw that there was a freebie, and I really just ordered for the Toy Story stuff. This is the whole freebie. It's the big sticker binder. A cute little keychain. It has the little uh, sprinkly, what is it, shaker card type stuff in it. I love their little keychains. So I will definitely be putting this in my scrapbook room. Look how cute that is with the little tulips in there shaking around. Super cute. It's just on this little board. I'm gonna rip or cut to get into it. There we go. So cute. It is wrapped in protective film, so I'll have to figure out how to peel that off. I can't do that with these big nails. But it's so cute with a little deer on there. I don't think I ordered anything from this collection because I had so many other spring things I could use. So I'll just stick that up here. 
And then it came with a little journal, which I'm more excited about the journal than any of the other things. I love their cute little printed journals. Their larger journals are so nice quality too. I just love, love all their little journals. I have way too many of their mini journals and their uh, thicker, bigger journals. It's just dot red. Their paper is a tiny bit cream leaning, but it writes really well. Fountain pens also work really nice on it. it just says happy day, super cute with the little flowers. Absolutely adorable. So I will definitely put that in my notebook collection. I have way too many notebooks. And then the binder, it looks like an eight and a half by 11 size. So I think you could buy eight and a half by 11 page protectors in here. Of course they sell their own page protectors for this too. And their page protectors are really, really nice quality. But I'm sure you can find some other places as well. So that is it for the freebie. And these freebies change from time to time. I definitely recommend waiting for a freebie or a coupon code or a sale or some sort of limited edition set. They do these like Disney-esque or various uh, licensed type of designs only for weekend specials. They're not something that they keep in their store regularly. So I ended up with pretty much all of that collection. So I've got a lot of the quality time, which is the koala bears theme. And then a lot of the uh, Toy Story theme and then I ordered a couple of the other sheets. They ended up asking a while back in their Facebook group what kind of stickers you'd like to see and I said dance stickers. There were a couple of people that said dance stickers and so I ended up with some dance stickers in here too. So let's go ahead and go through all these Hobonichi style ones first. So these are the ones that fit in the Hobonichi Weeks and the Hobonichi Cousin, which is the 1.3 inch column stickers. So I like these ones, even if I don't use it in a week's style planner, I like these little post-it note cute ones and the smaller icons are adorable. So I ended up with two of these. I have been using these days of the weeks and things in my content planner, because I did get a Sterling Ink Wink, Ink Weeks, <laughs> I said Ink Wink, <laughs> Sterling Ink Week one for my content planner and the stickers don't fit perfectly in here. I'm trying to show something that's not too much. Um, they don't fit perfectly because the sterling ink one doesn't have the big quotes and stuff at the bottom and the sizing is the tiniest bit different so they don't fit perfectly but I like using them in here. Let's see if I can find one where I started putting them at the top of the page. You can see I started lining them up at the top and I think that looks a little bit better. I'm not the greatest at lining them up clearly but I really enjoy using those. So I did end up with quite a few of the week's sheets and I will use the other ones. I will use all of these stickers in my Sterling Ink A5 size too, which is similar to the Hobonichi Cousin. I also got a koala bear one, it's koala tea time. Also ice cream day, I thought that one was super cute with that colors. And then the rainbow unicorn. So they redid these and they're supposed to be a little bit brighter and they finally put some of the rainbow things back in stock. So I did get rainbow things. I was super excited to see that. And then this is a three sticker sheet set for the weekly Hobonichi Cousin kits. I love these these ones. And I got all the little Toy Story ones. Super duper cute. I love her take on any, pretty much any theme. She makes the cutest stickers. And then here is the Hobonichi Cousin with the Koality Time one. Super cute. And then the monthly kit is a two-pager. There's the two pages. And then the Rainbow Unicorns is a three-pager. I was so excited to finally get my hands on this Rainbow Unicorn set, super cute. And then I got some of the larger stickers. These are the uh, bigger sticker sheets. And these ones are a little bit thicker than these like super thin vinyl stickers and these super thin vinyl stickers. These ones are a little bit more glossy. I wouldn't call them completely glossy, like semi-gloss. And then these ones are matte because these are writable. You can just write on them with whatever pen you've got. Same with these, they're writable. Super cute. I love, love, love the little Toy Story people. Their planner kits for the 1.5 inch stickers look like this, but this one is only a two page because it's a mini, mini planner kit. Super duper cute. And the colors do come off brighter. They said they redid these kits to make them a little bit brighter. And then this is the quality time planner kit, which happens to be six sheets. So this is a full size kit, not a mini planner kit. This one has all the stuff you need for a whole month, so. Boxes. These are all 1.5 inches wide. They fit really nicely. I love, love the labels sheets. I go through those so quickly. And then borders at the bottom, more boxes. 
some checklists and various things. These two are divider tabs, which I don't tend to usually use those ones. And then all the weekend to-do list and numbers and then the days of the week. I like how they change each week. Looks a little bit different. Super duper cute. And then small stickers. These are all those really thin semi, uh, like semi-glossy looking ones to infinity and beyond. These can be purchased individually, although the special editions are not available right now. They'll say they'll open the vault and they'll come up with these collections again. Howdy partner, quality together time, quality time with you, quality alone time. I really like these little me time stickers. Quality time month, I got the May for this one. And then some dance ones. And then also some ballet. So I like that there's two different ones. My daughter does all the dance classes. She's on a competitive dance team. So she needs both of those. Also this crochet one, which is super cute. I also got the music one because I feel like that goes with dance. And then we've got the claw and Andy's room friends. So lots of Toy Story, lots of the koala bears and a couple of dance stickers in there. I was so thankful that she made the dance stickers because I will get really good use out of those with a dancer. Actually both girls dance, but there you go. There's my giant pile of stickers and all the freebies and things. 